Hello friends, today we will see how to create disk library and storage policy. Hope you have liked my previous videos where I have showcased the, how to download the software and how to install, how to do basic installation of the box server, meta server, the single server. So please like the videos and subscribe my channel to get the updates on the latest videos. So first, uh, let's log into the console console. Yeah. So once we are logged in in the console console, you can see on the left pane, plane multiple options. The left pane under the store resources on the libraries you can add add and apple library which you want. So we have a three options uh, called disk library, cloud storage library, and tape library. So in case of NAS, SAN, DAS, or local storage, you can choose for the disk library. In case in your organization, if you have a tape drives or tape library, then go to the option tap library so uh, as you are aware in com world you can connect with the cloud storages as a backup target as well so you can choose cloud storage library so we have multiple options available in the cloud library we have a uh, type with the 14 plus cloud vendors as a backup target so let's Go with the disk library as for the today's session. So we can name we can name anything here. So let me give this library itself or the appropriate name. So when we are giving as I as I said for the disk library, we can use as local storage as well as a network storage, either SAN or NAS. So in the look let's in this video let's go with the local storage. So I have two drives here, C drive and F drive. I can create one folder here named this library. Okay, just just choose this level this library folder and press OK. So during this process, it will validate that that path, and it will create the disk library. So as you see, the disk library is created. Okay, now we can use this disk library to create multiple storage policies. So this library is basically the storage target where we are dumping on data, backed up data. Okay, so before going for the storage policy. We have to create the storage pool. Let's create the storage pool first. So again, storage pool is either disk, cloud, tape, or anything. The scale out is for the scale. So let's go with the disk. So I'm giving a name as storage pool. Okay. And I have to attach this storage pool pool to specific disk lab step uh, specific library so we have created this library it is automatically detected that this library or else we can create as well next here we can give the num party for this this option is for the partition data applications so in uh, normal scenario we will give only one partition for the data application Okay, so we will give only one. If we want to enable the notification, select enable and give the partition as one. And we we can give we can choose the path for that. Okay, automatically to detect the beta server. If you have multiple beta servers, then you can select any of the beta servers. 
so we have we will create let's say I have created the folder name T2 so here we have selected this one click on next if you want to go with the storage encryption then select the storage encryption and we have different types of encryptions available 3ds, AES, Blowfish, Gauss, Serpent, Toofish so all this encryption technology are available and you can select appropriate encryption technology as per your convenience and as per your requirement and the respective key length as well so in this video we will not select any software encryption client group if you want to assign this storage pool to any specific client group then you can select that one otherwise you can select a bank just click on finish and it will create the storage pool great so we have created the storage pool with the duplication enabled right so now we can go with that uh, storage policy we can create as you can see previously it was not here so as soon as we create the storage pool the comps of dr name storage policy is automatic created this is for the dr in case your complete server gone down you can recreate your server and uh, using the comps of dr so in this console DR it takes the backup of complete configuration, it takes the backup of the SQL database and keep and the storage. So let's create the storage policy. We'll create the new storage policy. This is for data production archiving. Okay, let's name any policy here. I'm giving the storage policy itself. Okay, so here we can uh, we can select which uh, storage pool we want to use. So as we have created the deduplication storage pool, so we are getting we will select duplication pool and automatically has directed that storage pool which we have created. Next, here we can give the number of device streams, maximum number of device streams which can uh, through which we can take the backup using this storage policy. So we are limiting as of now we are limiting to hundred. So as per the media server configuration resources we have given we can give the device streams to this keep it as a default because uh, as per the recommendations of the media server you can you can create a multiple storage policy if you give multiple streams to the multiple uh, storage policies so it can conflict so keep the default one in the second option you can give the retention for this uh, so 30 days one cycle cycle is like a full backups we can consider so from one first uh, one full backup to another full backup is called one cycle so when we are saying one cycle that means it will take two it will keep two full backups it will always n plus one so as of now for this video we will keep the default Thirty days one cycle, but you can change it as per your requirement and as per your poly organization policy. Just finish. Yeah, so store policy is done. Here you can see we have created a store policy, and this is the print. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you so much.